this is it. This is the sugar, sugar mill. This is cool. The sugar mill was incredible. The view of the ocean was unbelievable, and there was so much history there. The women really enjoyed it, and so far the road trip is off to a wonderful start. This is only one stop, and we're only halfway to our destination. Yay! So we gotta go. up and I would love to receive a rose from Sean. It is a group date but I'll still be able to have some time to share with him and that's all I could ask for. Oh, what's his name? Hey Ben. Who should get a rose? If you think I should eat the grass. Wait, I'll let you finish. <laughs> I don't take a lot of guys home but uh, I'm ready to take Sean home to my parents. He's big. Really big. We make our way through a rainforest, which is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. And the most exciting part was the treehouse. Oh! I totally feel like Sean's my man, but I think at the same time, every girl feels that way. So it's weird when there's three of us and we all feel that way. Maybe Tarzan. Oh, this no. thing would come crashing down on me. Yeah, the whole tree would. Here, let's tie your hands together. <laughs> it's hard to watch Desiree really connect with Sean, like, in front of my eyes. How did you know how to do that so well? <laughs> it seems to be Lindsay and me having a date with Sean and Desiree. I just don't want to rob you of your time swinging. <laughs> okay, your turn. All right. Time is of the essence in this situation. We all know that the more time we get, the bigger connection we can get with him. Today is the perfect day to get the rose. I hope that today is your best time here. Shaping up that way. Okay. <laughs> Desiree is making the most of her time. She is sitting shotgun the most. And, you know, just really throwing yourself out there and flirting with them. It caught me by surprise. Oh, I've been oh, looking forward to this. Goodness. We made it! Woo! Our whole day was amazing. We explored the whole island, and now we're finally here on this gorgeous beach to watch the sun go down. I mean, it's the perfect date. Like any group date, that rose is daunting. And today, it's even more so, because there's one rose that's given out this week, and it goes to one of the girls on the group date. Knowing that he would get to meet my family is really important to me. I want that rose real bad. We made it. Yeah. We've got time to spare. Cool. Let's get in the water. All right, let's go. Cool. I feel that I really showed him a lot today, you know? Like, I will do anything to spend more time with him. I deserve the rose. And I truly hope that he can see that and it just would guarantee that he wants to meet my family. I really need my one-on-one -on -one time on the beach today. Maybe I gravitate towards one woman more than the others, because at this point, I don't know. I feel really good about us, and I feel comfortable with you, and I love everything about us. I mean, it's crazy. I didn't, I didn't expect this, but I didn't expect it to come this far. It is pretty crazy. Considering the first night, I was thinking, Holy crap, <laughs> who is this crazy girl? And now, now look at us. Oh my gosh, you look how far gone. we've come. And then I also think about the group date yeah. that ended up at my house uh -huh. and us having our first kiss in the steps. That was so fun. That was the first night that I saw like the depth that you have. I think a lot of times like I try to hide it behind humor. I know. I think we're, we're pretty similar. Can I get confidence in this? Yeah, I know you do. I'm not going anywhere. I know you're not. I didn't know if I should keep the girl in the wedding dress on the first night. And fast forward, and now I'm crazy about the girl in the wedding dress. So we just both really like each other, and we like being with each other. And I've developed really strong feelings for her. This is nice. It is nice. So, if I get a hometown date, uh -huh. um, I talk about my mom a lot, mm -hmm. and I talk about my sisters, and I talk about my cousins and my big family. Um, but my dad is probably not going to be there. Mm -hmm. He lives in China. He was battling depression for a very, very long time. He was 
one of like I think six or seven children and between like 20 year difference mm -hmm. and all of his fathers but his so he had four dads in total three of them abused him and when I was 14 um, my dad had like a suicide attempt in front of my sisters and I and he was immediately taken away so He's still part of my life. I still contact him, but he won't be there. And that's kind of hard for me to, you know, deal with. Cause, you know, he's my dad. Yeah. So I just needed you to know that because it would be weird if you came and you were like, okay, so where's your dad? Thank you for telling me that. And I can't imagine how hard that was at 14. No, really? Yeah. It says a lot about you, because I never sensed once that you had this strained relationship with your dad. Yeah. I can't believe she has the strength to tell me about something that's so personal. I mean, she's shaking. It looks like she might cry at any moment. She can't even look me in the eyes. I think Catherine sees my relationship with my dad, and she sees how much I value it. And I think she was a little scared that I might not like the fact that her dad's not an active part of her life. And that's not the case. I'm just admiring how strong she is and how great she is despite all these things. The rose today means a lot. It means that I'm guaranteed the time to introduce Sean to my family. I'm guaranteed the time to, you know, spend more moments like these with him. And just to be able to build on the relationship we've already started. It's a lot of fun. Me too. I'm glad you did. This date means a lot to me because of meeting families and stuff. I really so, want you to. Does that excite you? Yeah, so yeah. much. What do you want me to see from your family? Oh, I'm going to cry. Um, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know. My family. where a lot of myself comes from my family and my upbringing and I just want you to see their joy. <laughs> yeah. And like, they didn't even meet my ex because, I don't know, it's huge for me yeah. to bring someone home and actually like know that it could be something yeah. really special. So that's why I want to meet them. My family is so special special in so many ways because I look up to them and like what my parents have is exactly what I would want. They're so simple yet so happy and you know like I do want to settle down and I do want everything that they had and I think it would mean the world to me for them to see happiness in me with you know someone I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. It would just mean so much to me to get the rose today. Today was so much fun, and it wouldn't have been nearly as fun if I didn't have the three of you. And I chose the three of you for a reason, because y'all bring out the fun side of me, which I love. And I feel so comfortable around each one of you. There is the rose on today's day. And I, I want you guys to know that by a mile, this was the hardest decision that I've had to make so far. I can't explain to you how difficult this has been because I think the world of each one of you. And tonight, I've decided to give the rose to the person who hasn't wavered a bit from the very beginning and someone who I know I'd like to meet their family next week. So, Lindsay, you can accept this for us. I am on cloud nine. The crazy girl that walked in in the wedding dress now has the hometown rose. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs>